Hi guys, today's video is another installment in my Forgotten Rudiments series, which I haven't done one of in a while. I did, I think, about five parts back when my book Encyclopedia Rudimentia came out on Hudson Music, and now that I have Rudimental Grand Tour out with Mel Bay, I thought, you know, I'll just do another couple of these videos probably, because there's a whole bunch of rudiments in the new book that weren't in the last book, and they're also not commonly known to English-speaking audiences. So, the one we're going to do today comes from the Mexican style of drumming, uh, from the Banda de Guerra music, which is a drum and bugle type music. It uses natural bugles, so no valves, and then snare drums for the most part. And it is played in everywhere from the actual Mexican military to uh, more like ROTC type cadet ensembles at a sort of a youth level. Um, so it's sort of everywhere, but I wager to say that most Americans have never heard of it, and maybe most people outside of Mexico have never heard of it. So the rudiment that we're going to talk about is called the Rautau. It's not necessarily forgotten in Mexico. I'm sure that many Mexicans remember it, but uh, it's really either forgotten or we never knew about it in the rest of the world. So it's worth talking about. So the Rautau is a little bit like a rough, where you have a buzz and then a tap. But that's not a Rautau. That's just a very slow rough. It's a little bit different from the rough because you do sort of a two-handed buzz into the tap, which is kind of like an American crushed rough or like a staccato press roll. But it's not exactly that either because, of course, um, we don't usually play the crushed rough, tap roll, zut, dry crush, whatever you want to call it. We don't usually end it with the tap. We usually just stop the buzz. Well, this one has the buzz and then the tap. But that's not all. We're not done. The uh, Rautau actually has a horizontal component, which I think is very unusual in that uh, most rudiments in most rudimental cultures only have a vertical component. You play with stick height, but not with any kind of horizontal motion. In this case, in Mexico, they always bring the Rautau in from the side, and one way that I've seen it done is both hands come in from left to right, and then you're going to end up buzzing both and then hitting the tap while dragging your hands across the surface of the drum sideways. So that is extremely interesting and different than most other types of music played on snare drums anywhere in the world. Now I think I've also seen it where people will come in from the two sides opposite one another but there is always some sort of horizontal component. Uh, it's almost never just straight up and down. So one further thing we have to talk about is the grip, because I've been playing in a pretty standard American style traditional grip, but this is not how most Mexican drummers play. Um, instead of having their fingers on top of the left hand traditional grip, they will actually have them in front of the stick or even sometimes completely under the stick. So I'm gonna go for the most uh, different grip from American style playing that I've ever seen. And then a lot of the time they'll either put their finger out here or they'll have sort of a fist, which is more of a European style. But I'm gonna do this because I think it's the most quote unquote wrong for Americans. And then with a grip like this, if I play a Rautau, that would be uh, fairly authentic. And there you go. That is the Rautau from the Mexican style of Banda de Guerra drumming. And it is a rudiment that I'm sure you did not know before. Thanks for watching. We'll have more of these on the channel in the future. Check out my book, Encyclopedia Rudimentia, and my new book, uh, Rudimental Grand Tour. Link in the description. Thanks. Later.